Today I'm working on uh, combing backs. I'm actually working on these corners, the uh, combing corners. I don't know what you call them for sure, but basically it's a little uh, curved piece that uh, fits in like that, that uh, supports the end of the combing boards and uh, transitions it back to the cabin top. Um, these are made with uh, fiberglass, um, gel-coated fiberglass, and they had some wood uh, coring in them, and uh, they just uh, screwed in, and then there's a little teak cap that goes on top of them to cover up the top. But what I'm doing, um, the, um, the core inside, uh, it's a pretty bad shape, so I'm gonna try to dig that out, and then I'm gonna just fill them in with um, thickened epoxy. Uh, uh, just to give me some kind of a little bit of a back and from my screws whenever I mount them. But it's kind of hard to see down in there, but you can see that it's not totally rotten, but the end of it there is rotten off. It was just a piece of three-quarter plywood uh, uh, fastened into the back there. Um, I've already got the one for the other side. It's cleaned out. So it's just a, just a glass in there, rinsed out with acetone just to try to get rid of some of the wax or whatever that might be in there. Um, like I say, this is just gonna be a, just, a, just a dead filler. It's uh, just a little something to give a little backing for these screws, uh, a little better hold, and also give me a better base uh, for sealing on at the bottom. The way these things were made, that, that the open end sits, sits right down on the side deck. And so water was able to seep up, you know, wick up into the end of that plywood. So I'm going to try to eliminate that. Okay, like I say, I've got this one cleaned out. This one, I've still got a, a bit to try to clean out. And there's no real particularly good or easy way to do this. I'm just using an old chisel, an old screwdriver, and just uh, gouging it out, digging it out as best I can. The main thing is I'm just trying to get all, all of the rotten out. If it's not rotten, it don't really matter if it stays in there, I guess. It'll have epoxy here at the base, so that'll keep water from wicking back up in it like it did before.
and there's what it looks like installed <clears throat> i've still got to put the bungs in this over the screw heads um and there's with the combing back put in place of course i've still got to mount a mount of um, a winch there um, previous owner put electrical tape over the holes so i gotta clean all that off um we can get a good good bedding on the bolts for the winch and I've still got to do the other side. 